Spain. All right, we are good. So Merry Christmas to all of you and thank you so much for even tuning in tonight. Um, I know there's really so many other things that each of you could be doing. Um, and for those of you who catch the recording of this and who are here watching live tonight, I truly, truly hope that the things that I have to say bring you um, to actually pause, reflect, and more than anything, empower you to know, like really, really know who you are. Um, because this truly, knowing this, will it will really change everything for you. It will change your daily interactions, your relationships, your spiritual walk, and your business, because that's what we're all here for, right? So who are you? And does that person even believe in you? Do you believe in you? Um, do you even know who you really are? How amazing you are? Um, I challenge you to really, really deeply reflect about that question um, and the questions that I'm going to kind of be posing tonight and just be really honest with yourself. There's no sense in lying. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had a cold, I've been getting over. Do you look at other individuals and think that they have things so easy that <clears throat> they've led a powerful life that really just displays their talents with very little effort? Um, some examples would be like John F. K., Abraham Lincoln, Mother Teresa, maybe a mentor, and you see how exceptional that they are and how they have made or are making a huge impact in this world. And not only do you notice those people, but others notice them as well. You know, we can keep going on with names like Peyton Manning, Donald Trump, Steve Jobs, Katherine Hepburn. You know, we can go on and on with that list. But here's the big thing. Guess what? Who else impacts this world? You do. It's you, it's me, it's every single one of us. Every single one of us was gifted a God-given influence. You have clout. Have you ever heard of that word? Um, if any of you guys have taken a look at my profile lately, you'll see that my header now has that definition on it. That definition is clout is the influence that God has given to you and to nobody else. You are specifically designed to impact the world in a way that nobody else can. Only you can. You know, we're each unique and different and we have, we all have like so much to offer the world, but do you even really recognize that and truly see your worth? Um, if you haven't discovered your clout, you know, that God-given influence, there's really no way that you can unleash your true purpose, your purpose that establishes your leadership. Um, and your leadership is what makes a mark on this world. Um, leadership in your home, leadership in your business, maybe leadership in the place of work where you work outside of your home. And um, maybe you're in college, wherever that might be, your day-to-day -day interactions, you have leadership. And this is something that I really didn't think that I struggled with, but so many things in a particular book that I read um, where I really kind of gleaned a lot of this um, introspection and thought from is Unleash Your God-Given Purpose. And that book is Clout, Un Unleash Your God-Given Purpose. It is written by Jenny Catron. And I read this book about four years ago, and it's actually the only book that I have picked up and read multiple times. Not just multiple times, but I've read it 10 times now. And I refer to it all the time, um, not just in business, but when I'm counseling people, when I'm coaching people, ministering to people, it's just something that every single person really just needs to figure out. Um, you know, what are you constantly telling yourself on a daily basis? Where are you saying, I wasn't made for this. I can't do this. I don't have this strength like they do. This isn't as easy for me. I'm an introvert. Maybe you are. So what? Use it. All of these things that you are constantly telling yourself, not talking about the positive things. I'm talking about all that negative self-talk. They're what we call clout killers. They kill any and all of your influence. They squash it down to absolutely nothing. See, what you're, what you're telling yourself is actually your reality, whether it really is the actual truth or not. It becomes the truth. It becomes the reality because what you believe about who you are is your truth. 
That is your absolute truth. And when it becomes your truth, it then becomes the truth to every single person around you that you've come in contact with. You know, believe it or not, other people hear those lies that you're telling yourself. They hear it loud and clear. They see that self doubt and they feel your lack of confidence. So another question, what have you been telling yourself? Who are you really? And when we look at who we are, um, you know, like Kristen mentioned when she um, introduced the topic, I'm not talking about I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a business owner, I'm a pastor's wife, I'm a nurse. I'm not referring to that. I'm referring to what makes you, you. How do you define yourself? I am sincere, bold. I am an introverted extrovert. Yes, it really is a thing. Um, I am organized. Describe yourself. Describe your talents, your strengths. I'm serious. Like This is homework for you. You really need to think about this. You need to think about who you are so that 2020, you can shine. You can shine who you are. Define yourself. Describe who you are to the core because you need to own who you are and do not ever, ever, ever doubt who God made you to be. You know, people want to compare. We want to say that we don't have this strength or I don't have as many strengths as this person. So how can I be as successful as them? Guess what? Run with the strengths that you have been given and quit worrying about the weaknesses. You know, it's been so ingrained in our society that we're supposed to work harder on those aspects of our life and our personalities where we're lacking and the strengths that, you know, don't come natural to us. But honestly, when we do that, we lose who we really are. When we focus so much in the areas where we're not strong, we lose who we are because you are all those strengths, whether you have one strength or a hundred strengths. Those are what have, they, that's what makes up your God-given influence. And when you really discover that, you have then positioned yourself to lead with passion and purpose that will completely defy those personal limitations. So all those things that don't actually come natural to us. Um, and if you want some scripture that speaks on this very thing, just message me. I can talk all about that too. Um, but you have this clout and you have to do something with it. You have to do something with the influence that has been given to you. Um, and if you don't recognize who you really are and the influence that you have, then you'll, you'll just lead a life that's aimless without purpose. You will be distracted, never achieving your dreams. And like every single one of you that are on here, you have a dream or you wouldn't be here. And you have to truly unleash this amazing person that you are and this clout that some of you might not even know that you have so that you can lead your life from a place of deep, perfect, deep purpose and confidence. Because when you unleash all of who you are, you're then able to step into those gifts that make, that, that make, you, that make up you and do the remarkable things because who you are and the influence you were born with is absolutely no accident. So use everything that you have in your life for a purpose that is greater than yourself. You know, that influence is recognizing that whether you know it or not, you're actually making a mark on others. It's understanding that what you do today matters. So give it everything that you've got. That's a whole nother topic too. I'm all about that. I am all about doing everything that you can, everything, whether it's folding the laundry, cooking dinner, working your business, taking your kids to school, doing it to the best ability that you have. Um, but when you doubt you and when you doubt your abilities, you're actually doubting the very person that created you and you're killing all that clout that you, will, that you were given. You're killing your influence, these doubts or fears, but you have to confront them. And I'm like talking about fears, that's a whole other topic that we don't even have the time to like go into. So I just have like a couple little thoughts on that. Just know that you have to confront whatever fears that you have head on. 
or they will actually hold you back from absolutely everything. They will hold you back from your dreams. They will hold you back from amazing relationships. Just so many things you will not be able to do if you let your fears determine you. And so you have to face that fear head on. You can't ignore it. You can't hide it. You can't avoid it. You can't control it. But what you can do is acknowledge it and go ahead anyways. You know, and we might as well briefly touch on comparison because I kind of mentioned that a while ago. Don't do it. I am not you and you are not me. So when we compare, like if we're going to compare things, we've got to compare apples to apples. So that means that you can't compare yourself to anyone else because you and I are not both the same. We're not comparing an apple to an apple. We are each uniquely us. No two people on this earth are the same. So stop trying to compare. You were made you and everything about you and your life and your business is yours. It's all you. So instead, I want you to just really focus on solely on you and the amazing strengths that you have because you have them. And I challenge you, like list all those strengths and don't even say that you don't have any because every single one of us has a strength. And you'll never find that true potential that you have when you're comparing yourself to others because they're not you. You are uniquely you. And only comparing, the only thing that I tell myself that I can compare me to is myself. I can only compare myself to, to I can only compare me to myself and that God given potential. And I can assess if I am truly shining that clout that I was given. So, that's what makes each of us absolutely unique. Comparison, doubt, jealousy, all those things that make us feel less than ourselves, those are the things that are only going to cause us to bring focus and spotlight to our insecurities. And insecurity, well, I mean, really, that's just the state of not being confident. And then that self-doubt creeps in and it takes center stage. There it is, bright for everybody to see. Um, you know, you're not the only one seeing it. When we have that self-doubt come in, that insecurity and the lack of confidence, you know, that takes that center stage and guess what the spotlight's all on? Not what we want it to be on. And your influence then becomes greatly affected. So when you have all these insecurities, the self-doubt, the lack of confidence, it directly impacts your influence. So do not be blinded by the insane <laughs> and massive potential that you have because all that you are able to see are the weaknesses that you have. <clears throat> Instead, you really have to brightly walk in the strengths that you have. Um, one thing that was really just kept coming to my mind when I was putting this together was something that Jake said at convention. Um, he was talking about the color personalities because a lot of people are just all about the color personalities. And people want to know, well, what's the best personal, the, the best color personality that you want? And he said that you want the ones who own their color. We want to be around people who are confident in who they are and the way God created them. So if you are talking about personalities and you're red, own your red. If you're yellow, own yellow. We each have all those amazing strengths and we, we do not de like, do not deny who you are. You know, I went through all of that, all of this tonight to help you see that knowing who you are and embracing it will allow you to be confident. I feel like that's what so many people lack and it's just something that everybody around you can see. You know, people will not follow a leader who does not have confidence. They will not buy a product from someone who is not confident in what they are sharing. People are naturally attracted to people who are able to convey confidence. And I'm not talking about that overcompensated, prideful confidence, but a genuine confidence in being comfortable in who they are and who they were made to be. You know, confidence really is just a, a characteristic of a positive attitude. Um, really the, the greatest achievers and leaders in this world of, of all times 
they, they remain confident no matter what their circumstances are, you know, no matter what situation they've been put into because confidence empowers and it's empowering to the, to, to that individual with the confidence, but it also empowers all those people that are around them um, and helps those people to have confidence as well. So be bold, be bold, make an impact in, in being the absolute best version of you. I mean, that's really like, isn't that what we're all doing in this business anyways, is that we want every single person to be the best version of themselves. But if we want everybody else to be the best version of them, don't we need to do that for ourselves? So strengthen your talents. Um, like I said, I promise you have talents. Don't focus on the things that you can't do, but focus on what you can do. Because when we focus on what we can do, this is actually going to show confidence to others. And when you have that confidence and are leading with your strengths, all those areas that are weak are actually going to become stronger. They're going to become stronger naturally because you're going to have confidence as you're doing the things that are your natural strengths. And you know, that confidence that you have because of that is actually going to lead you to step up and out and do more things. So last but not least, like stop lying to yourself. Know who you are, the true and amazing you and love that person. Don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to replicate and be somebody else. You get to define yourself and make that definition of that beautiful version that God created. Um, you know, he didn't create the muddled, the revised or the edited version. That's what we've done. You know, we need to be that original. You know, we need to be the original version and it's original beauty and don't alter that definition that God wrote for us. You know, he made you exactly the way that he wanted and you were perfectly made. So don't ever forget that because others will love and follow you. They will love you, the true, beautiful and confident you. You know, people can smell fear and lack of confidence a mile away. So literally like face those fears head on and lead your life being the best version of yourself. You know, work daily, like living out your purpose, making an impact. How can you use your strengths to make a bigger impact in everything that you do? Because you know, when we really know who we are, you're going to be able to move mountains and change the world one person at a time. People are going to trust you. People are going to follow you. People are going to be empowered by you. Empowered. That was my word for 2019. I love that word. I love feeling empowered and transmitting other, transmitting that to other people and helping them to feel empowered. Because when we empower others, we are literally helping them step out and be bold in their own lives. You know, maybe we are empowering them in their health um, with relationships within their families, their business, but in some way that empowerment that you're transmitting is going to have a positive impact in their life. And so I truly hope that you leave here tonight like, boldly, boldly, boldly wanting to walk in who you are, you ready to be a world changer in 2020 and be able to cast a vision to others that empowers them to be bold in their own lives and their health and their finances and their bit in a business, whatever that might be, however that looks. So happy new year. Um, and may 2020 be the year that everyone knows without a shadow of a doubt that you are living with a purpose and shining in that clout that you were gifted with. Um, so really my, I don't really have a word this year. I usually try to pick a word. Um, this year I have a phrase for 2020 and it is vision of clout. I see and I know the influence that God has given to me and to no one else. I was designed to impact the world in a way that no one else can. 
and that vision of clout is there for you to, for you to, um, the question is, do you see it? Because you were designed to impact the world in a way that I cannot. So that is what I have tonight. So I'm going to check this chat box and see if there was anything. Okay, so the name of the book is Unleash Your God-Given Clout by Jenny Catron. So that's J-E-N-N-I-C-A, I I think it's just T-R-O-N. You guys are awesome. They've already like pulled that book up and got the link in here. All right.